Well, here we go with the overclocking. Stay here for a while. And uh, so far, the best I can do being stable is 770 on the GPU. Yeah, 1130 on the memory and 1830 on the shader compared to 675 core, 1000 memory, and 1728 on the shader. So, and then we got Reva tuner here, and I set the fan at 40%, so it's still very quiet, but it cools it great. So, let's go on into the uh, benchmarks here. First, we'll run some 3D mark. Go ahead and exit out of anything that's going to Okay. I'm going to run everything at stock test. All right. So we're going to let that run and we'll come back when it's done. There we go. We got 17,434. That is not bad at all. That's a 200 about a 200 point increase in this overclock. So now let's run some Vantage and see how that fares. Well, Vantage is done and we've got 14,062. So GPU score is 12,015 and our CPU score is 28,753. And off the individual test. So let's move on to some crisis and crisis warhead. Okay, for the uh, crisis benchmark, we're going to be running it at the same thing we're running it. Everything on high. 1900 by 1200. 64 bit DirectX 10. So. Let's go. And we will come back with the results. So, the test is done and we got a minimum of 24 frames a second, max of 57 frames a second, and an overall average of 45 frames a second. That's not too bad. That's better than my old graphics cards. Alright, so now let's move on to our last test, Crisis Warhead. Well, as always, we're going to be running this in Gamer at 1920 by 1200 in DirectX 10 mode. So, and then, if anybody was wondering what the computer running all these tests is, it's an E8400 at overclocked to 3.825 gigahertz. I got 4 gigabytes of RAM overclocked to 850, which isn't really going to help. And then I got a 320 gig Western Digital hard drive, and the CPU is being cooled by a Thermaltake -take Big Typhoon, and obviously it's in an Antec 900 case. All right, so let's get this started, and then we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so the uh, test is done, and we've got a minimum of 13 frames a second, max of 49 frames a second, and an average of 27 frames a second, almost 28. Uh, again, these are on pretty ridiculous settings for just some 80 or 9800 GTs here. So again, if you just run them a little bit lower resolution, with not everything turned all the way up on high. Then I would think it would play Crisis no problem or Warhead played Crisis just fine, but yeah, I'm still wondering what was up with that uh, the flashy stuff it was doing before. Probably a bad card, and they don't perform quite as well as I was hoping.
don't know why I was expecting so much out of them. So I'm thinking I'm probably just going to ship these back to New Egg and get something else. I'll do some research later tonight. See what ones are in my price range. So I think I could probably get a single card that performs as good or maybe a little bit worse than these. And then just get another one in SLI somewhere down the road. So. Alright, hope you enjoyed this. Um, and if anybody's looking for a cheap, uh, highly overclockable 9800 GT, look up these Sparkle Caliber 9800 GTs. Alright, peace out.